Evaluating FABMs. This final section covers the advantages of FABMs. It will also answer some criticisms and discuss how to evaluate FABMs for use by your patients. Advantages of FABMs. Why use an FABM instead of artificial birth control or reproductive technologies? Because FABMs offer a number of real advantages. Let's take a look. FABMs are medically safe and effective. Unlike hormonal contraceptives, which can increase a woman's risk for blood clots, breast and cervical cancer, natural methods have no medical side effects. FABMs are as effective and in some cases more effective than user-directed methods of birth control, such as the pill. FABMs enable a woman to learn about her menstrual cycle so she can recognize what is healthy and normal. She can then better understand the way her body is designed to function. FABMs can help couples to develop self-management skills and self-control as they learn to identify their fertility signs and modify their behavior based on their family planning goals. Learning behavior modification can help men and women improve other aspects of their health, such as adjusting their diet to maintain a healthy weight. FABMs can empower a couple with knowledge of their combined fertility. They understand and appreciate their reproductive ability. Together as a couple, they can share the responsibility of trying to achieve or avoid pregnancy without the burden falling to only one person. FABMs may lead to improved communication as couples discuss their family planning goals on a regular basis. The cost of using these methods is minimal. Most expenses are incurred in the beginning for training and materials with only small fees for continued use, for example, purchasing new charts. Since FABMs have no medical side effects, they can be used at every stage of a woman's life for family planning or simply for monitoring reproductive health. For example, the Teen Star program uses the Billings ovulation method to teach young girls to recognize their fertility cycle, to enhance their self-understanding and self-esteem. Finally, fertility is not a disease, so why treat it as one? FABMs respect the natural times of fertility and infertility. It is also more ecological and environmentally friendly than contraceptives. Much misinformation about FABMs continues to circulate among the general population and healthcare providers. Let's summarize what we've learned so far and clarify the facts about FABMs. Any woman can use a fertility awareness-based method. Irregular cycles can make FABMs more challenging to use, but FABMs allow patients to recognize abnormalities so they may seek treatment sooner. Also, while infections may affect cervical mucus, women may be able to discern a change from their normal cervical fluid earlier than women who do not observe their cervical fluid. This may help them avoid unnecessary testing or delays in care. FABMs do not prevent STDs but neither do contraceptives over a lifetime of use. Actually, women who use the combined birth control pill appear to be at increased risk of chlamydia when compared to those not using contraception. Women using Depo-Provera have a higher risk of HIV even after controlling for condom usage. For couples who want to avoid pregnancy, the best evidence-based recommendation is to abstain from any genital contact during the fertile window. Periodic sexual abstinence to avoid pregnancy is doable. While the word abstinence may have a negative connotation, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It encourages the development of self-control and allows couples to focus on other aspects of their relationship during the fertile window. Abstaining from pleasurable activities is something we all do periodically, whether we abstain from alcohol, indulgent food, or sexual activity, and so forth. FABM users find that choosing to abstain from sexual intercourse can contribute to stronger communication and therefore has a positive effect on the couple's relationship. Finally, discipline, good communication, and full commitment of both partners are not disadvantages, but rather seem to be more positive attributes one might seek in a relationship.